In this short video, we want to tell you about an experiment that was conducted by the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig, Germany. It was about answering the question, how do pairs of chimpanzees and six-year-old children behave if they have to share a limited resource with a partner? Situation like it is shown in these images. And in the following presentation, I will show you how the experiment was conducted. And then we want to ask you to make a prediction about the outcomes of these experiments. So this is what the experimental apparatus for children looked like. One child would be sitting here and another one here. So the experimental apparatus for children worked like this. <clears throat> there was a bucket up here with a so-called resource. And in this case, it was kind of told to children that it was blue magic water. And the water would drip into this cylinder at a certain rate. We can think of it as the renewal rate of the resource that is dripping into this cylinder. And each child had a tab on their side where they could collect the resource, meaning the blue magic water, into these tubes. And the thing is, the more tubes they filled up, the more candy they could get at the end. And of course, candy is something very interesting and precious for children. So each child was interested to get as much candy as possible. And of course, when they opened the tabs, then the water inside the cylinder would go down. And this was also indicated by a, clearly by a cork into the, in the cylinder. Now, the thing is that the cork shouldn't go below this threshold, because if it does, then the resource collapses and is not anymore available. So basically, there was a mechanism that made sure that the water outside inside the cylinder would just fall right into this bucket, and then the experiment would be over. So the challenge is for the children to keep the water level above this threshold. The experimental apparatus for the chimpanzees was very much very similar, except for just a few differences. That's just because they are chimpanzees and not children. So the resource was not magic water because chimpanzees don't really understand the concept of magic water. Instead, it was just mango juice. And that is also something very sweet and tasty for chimpanzees. So they also wanted to drink as much as possible of the mango juice. All this, these mechanisms are pretty much the same. And instead of tabs, the chimps directly just drank from the mem mango juice from these nipples here. And so again, for the chimps, it was the challenge to keep the level of the mango juice inside the cylinder above the threshold level, even though they wanted to drink as much as possible from it. The thing is also that all the chimpanzees and children that took part in these experiments learned beforehand individually how to use the apparatus in such a way that they can take from the resource for as long as possible without the collapse. In other words, to use the resource sustainably. So for example, in the situation shown in this picture, the child has just learned that, oh, if I take too much at once, the cork will sink too low and then I can't have any more. So I better wait for a little while until there's more in the cylinder for me to take. Now the question is what happens if children and chimpanzees don't just use this apparatus individually, but with a partner. The question then becomes which species will be more successful in cooperating and using the shared resource for as long as possible, and why might that be? In other words, how did the children behave in this situation and why, and how did the chimpanzees behave? This is what we want you want to know from you in the next page. Mm -hmm.